should you be freaked out by artificial intelligence? As of right now, maybe not so much, but at the rate of which it's accelerating, maybe it is time to be a little concerned. Uh, one issue is chat GPT. Have you heard of this? Do you know about this? Have you heard about this? 217-629-7970. That's your phone number. Have you uh, messed around with this? I did register for ChatGPT, and uh, what it says is uh, it's a, a training module right now. Uh, it's called ChatGPT. It interacts in a conversational way. The dialogue format makes it possible for ChatGPT to answer follow-up questions, admit its mistakes, challenge incorrect premises, and reject inappropriate requests. ChatGPT is a sibling model to instruct GPT, which is trained to follow an instruction in a prompt and provide detailed response. Uh, so what what this is, it's it's artificial intelligence. And like for instance, it lays out that you can tell it some code to fill in and to correct, uh, but you can also ask it to do a whole bunch of other things. I'm asking you now, what should we ask ChatGPT to do? 217-629-7970 is the phone number. I've got this pulled up here uh, where we can uh, then you know go ahead and get some uh, uh, questions asked. It looks a little different than when I tested it out uh, last month or so. Uh, so let's do uh, questions, grammar corrections, uh, summarized for a second grader. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, natural language, text to command, English. And so there's a bunch of different categories now that they've uh, they've laid out. Uh, maybe we just do a Q and A. So uh, maybe we'll uh, uh, play around with this uh, in the playground. So get this prepared for you. Uh, again, two one seven six two nine seven nine seventy. That's the phone number. Uh, see if we can go ahead and uh, get some kind of uh, Chat GPT uh ready to go for what? I, what wait a second i don't even know if we can do this yet all right let's go to the phones good morning you're on wmay what's up what's up greg hey. i'm not so much afraid of artificial intelligence i'm afraid of lack of intelligence in the government state and federal well that's yeah sure i mean that's what scares me their lack of intelligence the artificial intelligence might be a good thing because god knows <laughs> we don't have any right now <laughs> Well, uh, that's yeah, that's, it's bad, could be. Friend. Sure. Right on. So, yeah, you're not worried about artificial intelligence at this point, but maybe down the future. Uh, good morning. You're on WMAY. Good morning, Greg. Man, you have hit on a phenomenal topic for anybody that's been reading up on this thing. I tell you what, they've got chat GPT. They posed the question, how to solve world hunger. It did it. It said uh, it, it took into what the nations grow naturally, their natural resources. It said, you know, the main thing is the people have to share. There's a lawyer down in Texas that was using Chat GPT <laughs> on a case, and he was going to follow. He was using Chat GPT as his co-counsel. They <laughs> they threatened to disbar him for having a non-barred uh, past, uh, associate, and he's been pretty much blackballed now. He was just doing it as an experiment. And uh, well, I'll yeah, tell you, I recently used Chat GPT uh, to answer a question I had about the law. And the question was, oh. uh, you know, I searched Google, uh, can you transfer a case from one federal court district to another federal court district? Google gave yes. me a bunch of different legal opinions in these documents and PDFs that were, you know, 200 yep. pages long. Uh, so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go over to Chat GPT and I'm just going to show this to do it live here on the air. Uh, so, yeah, can you uh, can you transfer uh, separate federal lawsuits uh, to another federal dis court district? Let's I do tell that. you what, Greg. Uh, one of the great things it's done is like if you want to write say, a quick cover letter. Oh, wow. Yeah. To a job well, listen, it, before you even respond, it says, yes, in certain circumstances, it's possible to transfer a federal lawsuit to another federal court district. The court must determine if the transfer is convenience uh, to the parties, witnesses, in the interest of justice. Uh, motion to transfer must be filed. So, yeah, this thing, it will tell you uh, and yes. what is going on in a conversational tone instead of giving you a whole bunch of yep. links, which most of them are probably advertisements. The last one I'll leave you with, because I know you want to get to more real questions, is you got to look up the doctor who used ChatGPT, and it actually discovered a medical condition that most doctors 
hadn't. It's only been just a side footnote <laughs> in most medical journals that most doctors don't even rec- hadn't even given it credence yet. But it compiled the data wow. and realized that there was a, a disease with uh, women from taking too much oral contraception, yeah. and it cr- crunched the data for women that had been admitted to the hospital for this kind of That's stuff. Wild. And now they're actually looking into it as an actual disease. Yeah, yeah. So, and listen, it, I mean, there's there's going to be, and this is why I bring it up. Appreciate the call. Uh, right now, it's in its infancy. This this artificial intelligence, which it goes out and collects all known knowledge on the internet, and it composes answers, or it can even like you know, for instance, let me see if I could do this really quick. Uh, and again, you can call in at two one seven six two nine seven nine seventy. I'd like to hear from you uh, a question that you have. Uh, but let's say uh, um, write a poem about uh, what do you say? Michael Madigan. How about that? Michael Madigan. All right. Uh, let's see here. Write a poem about Michael Madigan. Submit. Here we go. Uh, within moments, says Michael Madigan, oh, Michael Madigan, you are the man of Illinois' plan. Uh, you are, oh, it's Jesus, that's a long poem. I should have said write, write a short poem. Uh, you are the man of Illinois' plan. You impact uh, the state. Uh, it's more than grand. Uh, and you've been at the helm for many a year. You've been in office for a long time. Your work for the state is sublime. Uh, Your dedication to the cause is no crime. Your party has proved you're a leader sincere. Your leadership is something we all can see. Your vision and power will always be. You've made a real difference in history. Your name is well-respected far and near. Uh, He's having some problems uh, rhyming there. Also, maybe some problems with the facts. All right, interesting. Um, So, yeah, I want to hear from you. What kind of questions do you have for ChatGPT? uh, 217-629-7970 is the phone number. Uh, You can email me, bishoponair at gmail.com. What's another question we should ask this artificial intelligence? Uh, Maybe um, give me uh, uh, the short answer. (laughs) <laughs> to solving um, world hunger. All right, here we go. And it's uh, it's thinking. It's thinking. It's thinking. All right. The short answer to solving world hunger is to improve access to food and nutrition through sustainable development, increased investment in agriculture and food systems, and better education and economic opportunities. That's the short answer to solving world hunger, according to artificial intelligence. What question do you want to ask uh, artificial intelligence? Good morning. You're on WMAY. Oh, hold on. Oh, uh, uh, start, start, start again. Start again. Go ahead. You're on the air. Quick poem about Mike Madigan. Here you go. His name was Mike. He liked to tax Ike. He put this state through hell, and hopefully soon he's going to jail. <laughs> well, that's probably that was better than what this artificial intelligence did. I uh, appreciate that. 217-629-7970 is the phone number. We'll get to more of your uh, your thoughts on ChatGPT, uh, which is an artificial intelligence program. Uh, let's see here. What should we ask? Um, how influential is talk radio? Um, let's actually look. What is a short answer to how influential is talk radio all right so uh submitting um doesn't uh it pumped pumped out one sentence it just (laughs) talk radio can be very influential look at that so uh artificial intelligence letting us know that talk radio can be uh influential and you can sound off on it at 217-629-7970 all right, an update here. Uh, apparently, I wasn't using Jet Chat GPT uh, because Chat GPT is down right now. But this is the same company. I uh, asked if uh, I was using Chat GPT, and the the machine came back and said, "No, this is not Chat GPT. GPT stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformer." which is a type of artificial intelligence system. I asked, what system is this? It said, this is an online chat system. Uh, How is this system associated with ChatGPT? 
It says that uh, the system is not associated with GPT. GPT is a type of artificial intelligence system which is not used in this chat system. Uh, so apparently chat GPT is down right now, and uh, there's uh, a host of uh, jokes that it's artificially created to uh, talk about how busy the servers are and so on. But still, this playground uh, that uh, you can use through searching for chat GPT in the uh, uh, group that's organizing this, uh, it still allows you to, to ask questions and get weird responses. And uh, for instance, uh, we've taken some of your calls on to how to, uh, how to uh, play around with this. Uh, and even people reaching out uh, via text saying that uh, they have friends who are messing with this and they say that it's uh, absolutely mind blowing. And this is, uh, this is a small sample of what artificial intelligence is going to be doing and how artificial intelligence is going to rapidly evolve uh, and change. ChatGPT being one of those. So uh, let's see here. What's another good question we could ask ChatGPT, or at least the playground uh, that seems to be in place while ChatGPT uh, boosts its server capacity? Let's see. Hmm. What would be a good question to ask? 217-629-7970. That's the phone number. You can email bishoponair at gmail.com. Um, hmm. let's, uh, let's ask a question here. Uh, let's maybe uh, do a, a, a different poem. Write a short poem about Abe Lincoln. How about Abe Lincoln's time in Springfield? All right, let's see what it says. All right, so uh, submit that. Uh, warning text ends in a trailing space, uh, which causes worse performance due to how API splits its toe. Okay. Uh, the prairie wind of Springfield, Illinois, carried the voice of Abe Lincoln. As his law career blossomed and grew, he made his mark on the city through and through. All right, so, uh, yeah, it's kind of a, a short poem about Abe Lincoln. All right, what else is there? Hmm. Uh, maybe you're looking for some weight loss tips. Uh, so yeah, what's uh, the best way to lose weight fast? Question mark. All right. So uh, the best way to lose weight fast is a combine of uh, combination healthy diet with regular physical activity. Eating fewer calories than you burn off is the key to losing weight. It's also important to make sure that you are getting enough of the right types of foods like proteins, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats. Additionally, staying hydrated and getting adequate sleep can help support a healthy weight. So, hey, you know, you, you, <laughs> you can see how uh, just doing some simple searches here, uh, you might get uh, more, more fine-tuned answers than just simply doing a Google search, which is why ChatGPT has gotten so much attention lately, because apparently people are able to pass uh, the, the bar exam using ChatGPT. People are able to pass medical exams using ChatGPT, uh, and it's caused uh, a lot of uh, questions about the future of higher education and how even students are going to be using ChatGPT. Because at least, you know, this this says it does not jet chat GPT, but it's acting in a very similar fashion uh, to chat GPT. Uh, let's take a call. Good morning. You're on WMAY. What kind of question do you have? Oh, Greg, I hate the, I don't have a question. I hate to call him back. I was just going to let you know the version you're using right now is still in its infancy. They've got another one that's being released in March that's going to be uh, 20.2 petabytes of information, which is basically the sum of all human knowledge uh, applied into Right now, it's only using a fraction wow. of what's out there. And this thing, it, if you tell, hey, write me a paper on To Kill a Mockingbird at eighth grade level, it will use the appropriate vocabulary. If you can say, put it at a college yeah. level, it yeah. will change uh, let's, the vocabulary. Let's see. Write, write a short, uh, write, write a two-paragraph Synopsis of To Kill a Mockingbird. There's even rumors of some senators and representatives using it to condense. Like, you know, when they get these big three, 400-page bills, all they've got to do is copy and paste it in there and say summarize, and it'll sum up, yeah. you know, uh, bills, too, wow. that are being proposed. For law. So, so yeah, I've got a, I've got I've got I've got a two paragraph synopsis of To Kill a Mockingbird for second grade, uh, and it spit it out uh, with yes, with uh, it, before you before you even yeah. finished you calling it fin it, it completed it 
That's that's yes. n- that's madness. It's, it's now, just, now you can say write it at a college at a college level right. and include at, uh, you know h- hints of racism in it, and they will rewrite it and be at college level. It's pretty incredible. And you, yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's pretty amazing. Incredible. Uh, and it, it begs the question of what's next for artificial intelligence. Appreciate the call. Somebody on YouTube says. Ask, should Springfield, Illinois build a second lake? All right, so let's do that real quick here. Uh, Should Springfield, Illinois uh, build a second lake? Let's see uh, see what it says here. All right. Uh, (laughs) Says no. Springfield, Illinois does not have the resources or the authority to build a second lake. The Illinois Department of Natural Resources would need to be involved in any lake building projects. So, oh, again, uh, artificial intelligence. Uh, is it going to take over? Oh, that's, maybe that's the next question I ask here. Um, how will uh, artificial intelligence, intelligence, I got to spell it all right, uh, take over the news business? Ooh, this is scary. All right, should I hit submit? Let's see here. <sighs> oh, boy. It says, uh, artificial intelligence is already transforming the news business. AI-driven automation being used to automate the production of news stories and reduce the reliance on manual labor. AI can be used to generate personalized news feed, analyze data to identify trends, and even provide personalized recommendations to readers. AI can also be used to detect fake news and root out biased reporting. AI is also being used to create an interactive experience for readers, such as interactive maps, virtual reality experiences, and 3D simulations. Oh boy, uh, that's 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 just great. That's 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 wonderful. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Tad says on uh, Gmail. He says, uh, "Has anyone asked Chat GPT what's the meaning of life?" Uh, that's a good one. Let's check that out. What is the meaning of life? And again, this is not uh, Chat GPT as everybody knows it. Apparently, that's down. This is the same company offering up what they're calling the playground. Uh, so let's see here. What's the meaning of life? The meaning of life is subjective and can vary from person to person. Some people find meaning in living a life of service to others, while others find meaning in exploring their passions and interests. Ultimately, the meaning of life is up to each individual to define for themselves. So there you go. Um, Interesting. Stay tuned. Uh, we got more coming up here on WMAY. Appreciate everybody.